Hey everybody, um, I'm going to be giving a Minecraft tutorial today on how to uh, customize and create your own texture pack for Minecraft um, and how to install it back into the game. So there are a few tutorials on this already, but I don't feel any of them are detailed enough. So um, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is click start and type in run and find wherever your run is. Um, and obviously open it up. So what you want to type in is percent sign app data percent sign and hit OK. So you'll open up with this folder, which has all these different folders in it. Um, so find dot Minecraft and double click on it, and then find the bin, which should be the top one, and double click and open it up. So this is uh, these are all these jar files. Um, the one you want to deal with is Minecraft dot jar. So this is really important. Um, it's not going to work if you extract all the files here so I prefer WinRAR to uh, extract well open them up inside the WinRAR archiver um, so yeah you wanna open with WinRAR archiver and it should open up in here like I said oh exit out of that thing <laughs> like I said don't extract it in in this folder or it's gonna screw up um, so yeah I'm gonna minimize this so open up this Minecraft WinRAR thing. And uh, this is the part where you get to customize everything. Um, I'm going to customize it in Photoshop just to show you, but you can do it however you want. Um, so these are all your folders that you can customize stuff. Anything that's a PNG file, you can change. So for instance, maybe I want to change the monster. So I'm going to open up the mob, which is the mobs, the enemies, and this is this has everything in it. So these are all PNGs. So for instance, this is the pig man. If I double click on this, it's going to open up, and you can look at it. So obviously that's not going to change anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm not going to edit any of these, um, but you get the idea. You can change basically anything that's a PNG. So all these items, these are all PNGs. You can change all those, any of these folders. Um, there are also a few PNGs just in the main folder. Um, the root, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'm going to deal with terrain. Um, so you you double click all these and open them up and um, look at them. But to edit them, the best way to do it is to drag it and drop it on the desk desktop. Like I said, I'm going to edit it with Photoshop, so um, minimize this and take your terrain. Oh, I forgot. The first thing you want to do before you do this, you might want to make a save of the original. Uh, this this is going to be the original, um, the default, because if you really screw it up, you, you don't want to have to like reinstall Minecraft. You want to just keep everything and replace it with the default. Or... Uh, you could uh, make a save of the original minecraft.jar. This will keep it from, you know, if you screw up all this stuff in here, uh, you can just replace it with the default and uh, start over. So that's optional, I guess. So now while this is on your desktop, you're going to right click and say open with Photoshop or paint. You can do it with paint. I like Photoshop better. So it's going to open it up. and you want to zoom in and here's where you get creative and you get to edit all this stuff so you can use the pen tool put it on one pixel and just draw whatever colors you want um, but a word of warning first off don't change this blue thing what this blue thing is this is the animation for the nether portals I um, mean how it's all like movie and stuff don't don't change this because this is I all really screwed up. Don't change this one either. This fire text thing. That's also very important. Um, this is the fire animation. So don't change either of these. People might mistake this blue one for water, but it, it's not water. Water is down here. It's like translucent uh, right above lava. And over here, I'll tell you guys you know, what, what a few of these confusing ones are. Uh, this is the breaking 
the breaking animation. It's over gray because gray is like the default. Uh, we'll get back to that in a second. Um, but yeah, you can change this because everything breaks. So, you know, this is the breaking animation down here. Up here, a few things. Um, this is clay. Don't think it's stone. This is clay. This is snow. I put a couple footprints in there. Um, this is wool. Uh, that's I drew those lines. This is glass. This is ice. Um, the rest of it's pretty clear, except for this one. This right here is grass. The reason it's gray or silver is because um, grass changes color depending on where you are on the map, like the different seasons sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah. That's why it's gray, because it's going to change. So, personally, I wouldn't screw screw with this. Um, it might it might mess something up. I don't know exactly what it'll do, because I haven't tried it. So, try it, if you, <laughs> try it at your own risk. Um, other than that, I think everything else is pretty clear as to what it is. Um, I don't know what that is. I can't tell what it is. It's over a weird backdrop. The rest of it is pretty clear. So, oh, if you want to make something see-through, like so you can see the world behind it, I did that to this door a little bit. I scratched it up and made it look all awesome. Um, you're going to use the eraser tool. You're just going to erase, and the backdrop will be nothing. Uh, so in, in the real game, you can see the world behind through these holes that I erased. So you just use the eraser tool to do that. Um, this is the cactus by the way that's the inside of the cactus and these are the edges like an above view so that's really it I think uh, I think that's everything that you need to know for this so when you're done you've edited all this keep in mind you don't have to do just terrain.png you can edit all those other ones that I showed you like the mo the enemies and all that when you're done you want to align it back up it should click into place I can't tell when it's clicked into pla place place the there okay and you're going to say file save or save as whatever save it as terrain.png it should still be on your desktop so save yes now you can just exit out of this I'm gonna minimize it um, and then open up your WinRAR and this one that's on your desktop that you just edited you're gonna drag and drop into WinRAR and hit OK and it should automatically just replace the default with the one you edited. Um, so you can double click on this to make sure. Um, and yes, this is definitely the one I edited. Uh, so that is that is now edited. So once you're done with that, uh, you can delete this one. Doesn't matter. Yes, delete. Um, and then you can just exit out um, of that and exit out of this. And then you can just start up Minecraft and everything should be changed. Um, so that's my tutorial. That's pretty much all, all I have for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.